listen. Game keys and game cards. M M O G A. Your gaming specialist with killer prices. Hey guys, it's Melvin Seven here, and today I've got another squad builder. Um, I've had loads of ideas from subscribers. Um, my next two will probably be a 60k team and a 300k hybrid um, and then probably 100k after that like I've had so many ideas and I apologize to anyone who I can't make the squad for I've just got so many ideas and yeah I'm just limited at the minute uh, I really do appreciate the support and everything but please don't get disheartened if I don't pick yours it's just I don't like this on me I don't physically have enough time to do every idea I would like to but I can't but anyway let's get into this it's going to be my first ever silver team um, it's going to be a Bundesliga BPL Syria hybrid that costs around 120k I'll leave a bit of text now telling you how much the team costs before I put everyone in um, yeah let's just get into it I suppose so in that we have Stockdale um, I found him to be a very very good keeper six foot three that's why I picked him 1700 so quite expensive for a silver keeper, but yeah, I actually really, really did enjoy him. He made some brilliant saves, and yeah, I would highly recommend him in a silver BPL team. So the three centre-backs are going to be Corker's normal card, because it's a 120k, so I'm not going to fork out for his inform. Uh, Kuzhov, I think, for Bayern Munich, and Okori. Sorry if I can't pronounce these players, but yeah, pick them all because of their pace. Kuzhov, sorry, Kuzhov, 72 pace, Corker, 73 pace, and... Okore, 76 pace, all worked fantastically, very, very strong silver team. I was coming up against a couple of gold teams and a couple of silver teams, and I only lost one game. I think I played eight, is that right? Yep, I lost one game, and typically it was against my friend Ant, uh, his YouTube channel is The Mr. AC, as you probably already know, because, yeah, we're doing a joint series and everything, but, yeah, he beat me with his, um, I think it was his uh, Liga do Brasil League with Speed, Team. It was very, very close and I was very unlucky not to get the equaliser. He beat me 3-2. But yeah, I've won every other game apart from that. It's a brilliant team, honestly. Highly, highly recommend. Um, oh, crap. I haven't converted this guy because he gets 9 chem in the team anyway. It's going to be Chelsea. 88 pace is why I picked this guy. And he is very, very good. Um, I didn't really... Uh, I don't know, the wing backs. Like, because the defence is so strong, they didn't need to get back. Um... So yeah, they, they were just good for crossing the ball, interlinking with the left wing and the right wing. So yeah, um, neither of them really got back. The other one's going to be Callis for um, Chelsea. Um, again, great. like They're great for crossing the ball and passing to the centre mids. But as I say, they didn't need to get back in defence because this defence is so strong. Uh, next is going to be Leitner. Um, Stuttgart, I'm sure he played for Borussia Dortmund last season, so he's either got loaned out or sold to Stuttgart, I believe. Um, yeah, 80 pace, 81 dribbling, or why I chose him in 71 passing. Great centre mid, works in, sorry, he works with Delph, the other one, um, very well. Delph's got 80 pace again, 72 passing and 79 dribbling, so these two are very, very similar players and do work really well to get it forward to the, uh, to get it forward to the forward three, if that makes any sense. Uh, sorry, I'll go over the prices. Corker cost me 8,500. Um, Kirchhoff cost me 2,800. Okore cost me 7,900. Kalas cost me 1,900. Uh, Schulzer cost me 1,800. Like now, because uh, both of these center mids are default center attacking mids, so I was a bit skeptical at uh, using them both because I wouldn't be able to get back in the def defense. But the three defenders really, really do work. They are fantastic. So they didn't need to get back. It's a very attacking formation. Also, 5-2-2-1. Two, 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 I've never used it on FIFA, but I might start using it again because it is very, very good. And yes, it's known for its sweatiness. And that remains for FIFA 14. Anyway, Leitner cost me 6,600 as a default CM. Probably a lot cheaper as a cam. And Delft cost me 7,000 as a default CM again and probably would be cheaper as a centre attacker mid. But anyway, the right wing is going to be Zaha. This guy was really, really good. I did enjoy him. He's only scored one and had one assist. But 
I don't know, he just really, really worked and he was passing a lot to the other two um, striker in the left wing that was scoring most of the goals and yeah, he just really, really did work. Had a few good dribbling runs. Obviously, that 82 dribbling for a silver card is unbelievable and 85 pace is pretty decent. So the striker is going to be Malapa. Now, this guy is a tank. I mean, he's got 84 pace, he's 6 foot 4 so he can get uh, good headers. Only scored 5 but as you can see, he's assisted 3. This team is just so balanced. Anyone can score, anyone can assist, it's just so good. And yeah, he cost me 22250 so very, very expensive. And Zaha cost me 16500 Ignore Malapa's 67 shooting. He's got way better shots than that. I really did enjoy this guy. And now, the best player on the team for me. He's a bit sluggish, but it's going to be S fine. Nowhere near as overpowered as he was last FIFA. Probably because he's a left wing and he's a silver. His dribbling is the only thing that lets this guy down. Um, he just... He didn't get going a lot. Like, once he got into his stride, he was really, really pacey and hard to stop. But it was just initially getting that long acceleration in. It was really, really difficult. But once that happened, he was brilliant. Scored six, assisted three. As I say, the interlink between all these players was brilliant. Obviously, he's very pacey. 91 pace. Um... And 70 shooting for a left wing silver is not bad either. He cost me 31,500, so he was the most expensive on this team. So yeah, as I say, I would have already had a bit of text on screen showing you how much this team is, but I think it's roughly about 100k to 120k, somewhere around that box. Yeah, uh, if you want more silver squads or you want any bronze, if you want any gold, you want any silver gold hybrids, whatever, leave a comment down below. Um, and also, I'm going to be starting player reviews soon, like um, saying what I like about players and what I don't about certain players. So yeah, also comment below what you want, which players you want me to review. Don't pick too many expensive players because for the time being, until later on in January, I don't have too many coins. So yeah, try and pick, I don't know, no one over 200k. Don't pick anyone over that because I won't be able to do it. But yeah. If you have enjoyed, then please do hit that like button. It really does help my channel. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content if you haven't already. Remember to check out MMOJ for safe, reliable, cheap, and yeah, uh, FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Coins for all consoles. Yeah, I'll have a video of me purchasing when I purchase later in uh, January, just so you know they're safe, because I've had a few comments saying, are they safe? They are 100% reliable. I would not sponsor them. Sorry, I would not get sponsored by them if they were not reliable and if they were a scam. They are not, honestly, they are very, very safe. And yeah, um, peace, hope you enjoy the highlights.